Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Plant Works and I've come to see Instagrid with Andy Mead. We've been talking about battery power now, Andy, for some time. And we obviously see packs and battery packs coming into the industry, balancing loads, working with generators, working in solar and all that sort of different thing. But what you said to me before the show is, Peter, come and have a look at what we're doing because it's a little bit different to what people are used to. And it all comes from a miniature start and standpoint, folks, that the guys have been working with uh, to power power tools. What do we see behind us? This is a brand new exclusive verse view at the show, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So this is Zero, and Zero is Instagrid's first high performance mobile battery. So it's designed to replace diesel generators for construction, events, film, media, all kinds of temporary power applications. So folks, what we've got here inside this is actually a bigger version there, but it's taking what you've learned from this and doing things differently. Please tell me, how does this translate to what we see here? Instagrid is fundamentally built on a completely new platform. So we use micro inverters as opposed to one centralized big inverter. That brings us a bunch of benefits. So the reason that we can get so small in here is that our inverters are way smaller than a big centralized inverter. Right. So this machine is about a third of the size and weight of comparable machines wow. that so have this kind of performance. I would have to have three of these uh, to, to literally get the same amount of power out. Absolutely, yeah. That's crazy. Now, folks, we all know that these sort of machines here, the battery systems, can actually be winched, as we see on the top here, or can actually be moved by forklift. We can actually move this by trailer as well, can't we, Andy? Yeah, absolutely. So this is really the first time that we've seen this kind of power capability movable by three and a half ton trailer. Fantastic. So what we've got there, folks, is the ability to take power into different places and spaces, but also to remove it round simply the job site which, as to where it's needed. And that's really important, isn't it? Well, this is the whole principle, right? That power needs to be mobile for temporary power applications, right. okay? And at the moment that's served by diesel generators, but in a world without diesel generators, which is coming, yeah, 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 then yeah, yeah. we need to work out how to get more and more energy density into power packs that can be moved around regularly and deliver the energy to where it's needed. So zero one step along that journey gets us one step closer to a generator free world and this is really designed for where we are dominant in the UK the plant hire market folks and we see here touch screen tablet here so you can see all your energy your inputs your outputs and the battery and where that uh, really sits right now and we've also got lots of different elements down here you know lots of control systems and lots of different power output capability why have we got so much down there well most of the power systems that you'll see out there these battery systems we all have kind of lower current capacity connectors on them, and that's just because they're not as capable as this machine. Right. So when you see these kind of power connectors, people will associate that with really large scale generators. Yeah, yeah. And we have to have these kind of power connectors because the thing can put out just so much power that these traditional small connectors just won't carry the current. So how much power can it, can it put out, Andy? Well, we're talking about 180 kilowatts of power, peaking wow. up at 540 kilowatts. So the peak power performance of this is unmatched anywhere. So this is the big one, folks. This little one is even powering a small electric crane up there, Andy, as well, isn't it? So we can see that this could power huge tower cranes in a remote location, couldn't it, for example? Absolutely. I mean, the kind of power performance that we've proven in the marketplace with the Instagrid One Max um, really, for the first time, can power things like cranes. Yeah, yeah. But when you translate that up into the scale of zero, then we're talking about powering entire construction sites from a battery. Right, so now I'm going to come to the important bit, folks. When we talk about batteries, everybody talks about battery degradation, everybody talks about the life cycle of something like this. But you've said to me that there's five kilowatt hour battery, tiny sections of batteries all inside here, all sort of stacked up with these micro inverters. So if one of the inverters goes, can it keep running? Absolutely. So the one another advantage of micro inverters as opposed to a centralized inverter system is that you've got built in redundancy. Right. So what that means is that if there is a failure in one of the power units, you've got tens of other power units that can carry the load. So you see a very small reduction in capacity as opposed to a failure of the system. So that should translate into improved reliability in the field. And also, folks, what that allows us to do is this is a connected asset. Like I talk about connected work sites, this is a connected asset which can then talk to the owner and say that little micro inverter has gone down. Then you can do that planned maintenance, but you don't need to rush out to the product because actually, you know, it can cope 
uh, with that kind of change, can't it? Absolutely, yeah. So, of course, it can report to the cloud any kind of fault that's going on. You can put program that into planned maintenance, planned servicing. But, of course, the whole system is designed to be serviceable in the field as well. Yep. So the whole concept behind this is let's make it as movable, as mobile as possible, as cheap and environmentally friendly to transport around and as easy to fix in the field as you possibly can. And that's why we've got Instagrid as the name, because this is an instant grid application, throwing around lots of different energy to lots of different things, peak troughs, all these sort of things, balancing out power, taking it from solar, doing all these different things. It's actually a brain here, folks. There's a battery as well that can power the st this stuff all on site in the future, and it's great to finally meet you. Let's keep talking about how good we can be with this battery technology. Excellent. Cheers. Thank you, Peter.